Hello, everyone. I'm plugging you guys in. Hello, guys. I don't know who's here. Okay. Let me find ya. Oh, I look like I'm in like a jail cell. A jail cell? I can't even talk. A jail cell. How's everybody's weekend? Hi, Kyle. I can't see who else there. I'm trying to find it. Here it is. Kyle, Terrell, Denise, Jessica, Lisa, Lily, Diane. I see that. Ah, shoot. Hi, Sue, Carol, Lori, Danielle, Dorothy. Hi, Katie. Purple Moon Drop, Rudy, Unicorn Baby, Aaron, Linda, Belinda, Jennifer. Hey girl, Erica, tormented, tormented soul. Hi there, Tessa, J Janice, Douglas, Deborah Wheeler, Catherine Pierce, hello there. Brenda Hall, Carol Knight, probably repeating myself now. Jerry Allen, Linda Hunt, Brenda, hi Jess, what's up, what's up? And now I'm looking down. I got that thing up real high tonight for some reason. I'm doing good, Katie. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome, Sue. Frostbite. Hello there from Canada. All right. Hi, Carla. Gabriel. Hi, Glenn Pierce. How are you? Hey, Angie. What's up, girl? Hope you're coming over in the morning so we can do what we need to get done. Hi, Gina. I'm glad you're back. I hope everything's okay with you. Watching, watching from the swimming pool. That's awesome. I'm trying to see who I miss. Frecklish. Am I saying that right? I gotta watch the words I say. I gotta say them in my head first because sometimes they remember how people were getting me and I was saying stupid stuff. Oh, I'm glad it loaded, Catherine. That's awesome. Hopefully my phone don't screw up tonight. I don't know. I think you're frozen. No, I'm moving. It's not me. Not this time. Yes, smash that like button. Thank you. Okay, so I'm seeing a whole ton of chats tonight. Remember the other night I was only seeing like this many. Now I have a whole bunch for some reason. I don't want to move it. It's really small. Oh, it's really small. That's why. If I make it a little bit bigger, I won't have to um, squeeze in so much. And be able to, um, let's see. Yeah. That's better. Maybe. I'm missing comments now though. Where's the thing at? All right, now it won't let me go back to the comments. Hold up, guys. Let me make it small again. I'll just squint. Somehow it keeps... I keep losing you guys. There's a little bar so that I can scroll back up the comments, but it's not here. All right, so you guys, this comments are going by, but it's not letting me scroll back. So if I miss something, Gina said something and I missed it. Hi, James. Okay, so tonight, I don't know if Renee's in here or not. Um, she is one of my mods. You guys, most of you guys probably know her nephew um, almost died. And they're still not sure if he's going to make it. He's in the hospital. And um, the whole family, he needs your prayers. The whole family needs, needs your prayers. So, um... His name is Trenton. He goes by Trent. Um, if you guys could just please pray for him and um, pray for the family because he might not make it. Hopefully he does. Um, things do look like they're improving so um, very slowly. So just continue to pray for that family. If you guys know who I'm talking about, it's Renee. Um, 
I think her last name's Hutchinson. I, I, don't, I didn't write that down. Um, she is a mod of mine. So, um, yes, keep that family in your prayers. And I want to read a card tonight for Trenton. Um, hopefully it'll be a good card that, you know, maybe it'll help him. Maybe he'll, he'll wake up and he'll say, I remember somebody read me a card. Wouldn't that be neat? Oh, I got cold chills. That would be so neat. Cause I know Angie did spirit box. I think it was spirit box and communicated with a woman that was in a coma, which was really, really awesome. So if, um, you know, maybe he'll, maybe he'll hear this card. That's for him. If I miss anything that you really wanted me to see, make sure you repeat it or copy and paste it because um, I'm not frozen at my end. I don't know what's going on. It's not frozen. I can probably tell it down some though. Now I'm crooked. Is that gonna bother you guys? Okay. Um, yes, okay, so I, would, I do wanna read a card for Trenton. I wanna read the very first card for Trenton. And, um, then I, um, I'll, I'll, I'll shuffle and talk at the same time because I got to think about him and hopefully the right card pops up for him. Hi, Susan Wagner. Hi, Lily. Yeah, I don't, it's not frozen. I know last week it froze a couple of times on me. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. Hi, Mama D. What's up? I'm doing okay today. <laughs> it's been a crazy week. Um, I met some fans that came to town and um, took them out and made some videos with them, which you guys probably just seen, like the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night videos, or Sunday day videos. Um, had a really good time with them. I think they're leaving to go home tomorrow. And, um, also I got to meet Jennifer, I'm going to say the last name wrong, Lopshire. Did I say it right? Um, she drove all the way down from Georgia. It was, it was about, I don't know, three and a half, four hours. She drove all the way down from Georgia. I'm trying to think of when it was. Isn't that awful? I think it was Thursday. Yeah, it had to have been Thursday. And, um... So I got to meet her and it was awesome. She's a very nice person. She brought me a birthday present. And um, I wanted to share that stuff with you too. I, she got me, she got me a bunch of oils. And I think Haley took some because I thought there was more on the counter than this. There are different kinds, this is for Joy. There are different kinds of oils. Cop I can't say the word, I can't say it, you know me. My favorite one is the wintergreen, which I haven't even tried it in my in my thing yet, because Haley took it. She's like, I like it better than I like the wax melt thing. So she took it right out of the kitchen. Wintergreen, can you guys smell it? Oh my God, this smells like those wintergreen lifesavers that you eat. Oh my God, I just wanna drink it. Not going to. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer, I love them. Also, Jennifer got me a karaoke microphone. Hold your cell phone so you can read the lyrics. I haven't opened it yet, haven't attempted to sing, but this is pretty cool and I do plan on using this. Um, I might make a video and then if I like it, I might post it. <laughs> this right here, Jennifer got me, it's a wireless speaker bottle. So when I'm out, um, when I'm out like, filming I could have a drink inside this and there's a speaker now it's Bluetooth I, I haven't opened it to see if it had the aux cord I might even be able to do the spirit box off of there I'm not positive but it says it's Bluetooth a lot of times some things that are Bluetooth do have a cord where you can hook a cord to it um, it's water resistance you play your music on the go and you got your drink in the bottle also it's pretty cool I'm missing all the comments um, she got, oh, oh, this, she made me this. I gotta show you guys this. She sells these, so if you guys are interested in buying them, um, check her out or give her a, send her a message. It's a bandana and she made this. Isn't that awesome? It's got the bling, 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 bling. I love it. It's so pretty. 
So she made me this, but she also sells them. So yes, if you guys are interested in one, and it's not just this style, she's got many styles. Um, you guys could get with her. She's in the chat. Um, Jennifer, did I say your name right? Lopshire, I did. Um, yeah, I had an amazing time with you too. She also got me these um, little cake pops. I ate the chocolate one. So hold on, let me get it. They're so cute, I wanna show you. Oh, you know what? We probably filmed this when she gave this stuff to me. Look at my package. Isn't it pretty? We did film this, so you might see a repeat of this. Um, oh, it looks like it melted. Here's the strawberry one. They're so cute. I ate the chocolate one. It was so good. It was it was really rich in chocolate, like really chocolatey. I didn't eat it all at once, but this is really cute. Anyways, she drove all the way down from Georgia to meet me. It was pretty cool, and then... Um, she got to meet Melissa too. Melissa come over to my house and she got to meet Melissa. So um, we had a wonderful time. We really did. We went out and filmed a video and we went out to eat. Wow, while we was out eating, oh, I was eating, we went to the Chinese restaurant and I was eating a uh, cream cheese wonton. Went like this, took a bite of it and cracked my front tooth. Uh, I was, I was, I was like terrified. It was like, oh my God, I felt it crack. I put my tongue on it and I, I didn't even say nothing to anybody at the table. I got up and I went straight to the bathroom. It freaked me out. So I'm like feeling it with my tongue and it's, and it's ready. It's, it's broke right in half. And, um, so yeah, it scared the crap out of me. I didn't know what I was going to do. I was scared to go back and eat anything. Because I was afraid that the whole tooth was going to... If I go front toothless, I'm done. I am not going to get in front of a camera. So, um, I got back to the table and I kind of told them what happened. Because they didn't. They had no clue. They had no clue why I got up and just walked away. Um, so, yeah. It took the whole... The whole the whole side... Not the whole side, but the whole... The whole tooth cracked in half. Um, so, I did get that fixed. It's much better now cost me a bunch of money but I did get it fixed the very next day like I kept pushing it back up in there I never let it come out because that would have been awful um, I went to the dentist the next day and it's that same dentist if you guys remember the same dentist that tells everybody they need their teeth pulled out and they need dentures well I walked in and I'm like okay I look this is my front tooth I'm on the camera every day I said, I cannot go with toothless in my front tooth. I said, I, I can't leave here until my tooth is fixed. Well, I don't know, ma'am. We're pretty bad. Booked up. And I'm like, I, I'm not leaving until my tooth is fixed. So I stayed all, like probably close to three hours. And um, they got me back there. And I heard the doctor in the room behind me talking to this man, telling him how he needed all of his teeth pulled out and he needed dentures. I'm just like, oh, my God, here we go again. I didn't know what other dentist to go to. So, um, then he goes in the room to the lady on the other side of me and I hear him telling her the same damn thing. I'm like, here we go. He walked in the door and he says, how are you doing today? I said, well, if you tell me I need dentures, I'm not going to be doing good. I said, I need my front tooth fixed. I don't want dentures, so don't even mention them. And I just want my tooth fixed. So he never mentioned dentures to me. <laughs> He did say I needed to come back and have, have the rest of my teeth checked out and stuff. So I'm going back on Tuesday. But he fixed my tooth. And I was like like the last the last patient there. Like I stayed there until like they, they were already closed. But he stayed and fixed it. So I really, really appreciated that because toothless, you guys wouldn't see my you guys wouldn't see me on camera. I'd be might film stuff, but I ain't gonna film me. There ain't no way. Okay, so I missed all the comments. If there was any important comments, send them back. But anyways, um, I had a great time with Jennifer, and we went out. I'm trying to think. We went to the May Stringer house, which I made videos, so I'm going to just wait and put those videos out and let you guys see them. But, yes, we had a wonderful time. And then we got to meet up with Angie later on, so she got to meet Angie, and we went to another place. But we have videos coming out. I'm just... I'm still behind on the Maryland videos. And then when I went out with the fans over the weekend or last, yeah, I wanted to get them videos posted quick. And um, 
I have a few more Maryland videos and then I have some more videos since I came back because I film ev almost every time I go anywhere. I just have the videos backing up. Just have to hurry up and get myself motivated to sit there and edit. It's like if I turn the computer on, if I click on Facebook, I guess I guess the green light goes on or something. I don't know. Sometimes I've seen a green light on, on my Facebook on other people. So when I click on Facebook, my green light must go on. And then my phone, people start calling me and start messaging me. And I'm trying to work on a video, so I can't click on... I need to not click on Facebook. Because once I click on there, then it's like... Da-ding, 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 da-ding. And I don't, I don't get nothing done. I get aggravated and... You know, then I, you know, I need to take Haley here, or I need to go to the market, or I need to pick Tyler up. I'm a busy person. I, I don't, I don't think I stop. I really don't stop. I don't hardly ever sit down and watch TV. I just don't stop. So, um, please, um, you know, have respect. If you see that green light go on, because I would like to sometimes go in and check my Facebook and maybe heart some people's comments or, or like them and... If you don't, if you see it that I'm not doing that, it's because as soon as I turn Facebook on, people start calling my phone. Um, so please don't call me unless we've set it up for you to call me or, um, you know. And if I don't respond back to your message right away, don't get offended because it's not nothing personal with anybody. It's just when I turn my computer on, usually all this is already logged in and... I'm trying to work on videos. I have so many videos backed up, guys. I still have a video where my fans, Donna and um, Mario, took me out to, to lunch. I never even posted that one yet. So that one's going to be coming up probably, hopefully this week. If not, it'll be the week after. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit hot behind. Hi, Carol Carter. If I miss something, guys, repost it if you want me to see it. It's hard to... Um, Talk and read the comments. And, uh, um, yes, I am very behind. I mean, I don't. Need, I haven't even been talking to Jess Harley at all. I used to. Jess is my helper. I mean, she helps me with everything with my channel. Um, she helps me with the Facebook pages, and usually we talk more. I just, I just don't have time, and she understands. Um, so yeah, I would just appreciate that. Thank you, Saul. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate that. I wish we could meet too. If you ever come to um, Spring Hill, let me know because I love meeting fans. I had a great time with the fans that I got to meet the other day and I had a great time with Jennifer and um, even with Mario and Donna. They're awesome people. They live right here in Spring Hill and they were here for a long time before I even got to, you know, really meet them. So, uh, you know, most people understand that I'm very, very busy. I do have a family. I do have, you know, have to take care of a house. I have to take care of a house, a pool, a yard. Um, Tyler works 12-hour days. And um, when he gets home, he's like, you know, he don't feel like doing stuff. So, I'm not going to say much about that because he works hard and he, and, he, and he pays our bills. So, I get out and do as much as I can do. I, I would rather work outside than inside. So, my house gets neglected. Um, but yeah, I have a lot to do. I don't have time to sit down and, um, have my phone dinging all day long and take, take calls and messages. I do get back to people when I can. So just, you know, be patient and bear with me. Um, hmm. All right, I'm, I'm missing what's going on. I got my print so dang small. I can't even see it. I'm going to have to make it big. I thought it was going to let me, um... Even with these glasses on, I can't see it. There we go. I'm missing some of the comments. Jess can remind me of things if, if there's something important that I miss. Somebody just asked me something. See, I'm still I got messages popping up on Messenger right now because I have Facebook on. And um, I'm trying to have the comments and talk to you guys. And it, it's hard to that multitask that bad. I can't do it. I mean, I can sometimes, but I can't. Okay, so my very first card is going to be for Trent. And um, I did see Renee in here. So Renee, in the beginning, I don't know if you've seen that part. I asked everybody to pray for him. And I did get your message. 
thank you for being so respectful. She'll send me a message and update on him. And she'll say, I know you can't respond right now because you're busy. Uh, I just wanted to update you. And I appreciate her doing that. Because, you know, some people get offended if I don't answer them right back. Oh, my God, you looked at it, but you didn't. I don't, I don't have time. I, I'm sorry. I don't have time. So, um, but Renee sent me a message today telling me the update on him. And um, the first thing she said was, "Don't you don't have to reply. I know you're busy. And, you know, I, I later on, I didn't reply right away. I replied later on. Um, I think I replied, I'm sending you prayers. Uh, but I am going to hit the first card I'm reading is going to be for Trent. And he's laying in a hospital bed, and I hope that he can hear it. I hope that he he knows that everybody's praying for him. Um, so let me just finish shuffling. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for the donation. Okay, so here comes Trent's card. Oh, wow. You guys are going to flip out when you see this card. Trent is like in a coma, kind of. He hasn't came up. He hasn't woke up yet. Dream talk. We got dream talk. That's amazing. Okay, so Trent's card is dream talk. Your subconscious is... Blah, 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 blah. Your subconscious constantly and abruptly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those, those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you. Through signs, symbols, messages, and more. Dream talk. Renee, that card is for um, Trent. And if you remind me later, I will take a screenshot of this and send this to you. But don't remind me right now because I remind me later after my live stream. I'm going to keep that card out. That's a good card for him. What do you guys think about that? And he's like in a coma, guys. It's like he hasn't woke up yet, so he is starting to breathe on his own. Maybe that card that car was meant for him. I think that card was meant for him. Okay. So another thing that I wanted to... Um, I wanted to give thanks to some people that um, recently sent money to my PayPal. I want to um, say thank you to Jennifer Lopez Ch Chavez. I'm probably going to say it wrong. Jennifer Lopez Chavez. Chavez. Lori Ramps. Ramps in this. I don't know. I'm probably saying it wrong. But you guys know who you are. I want to give a big shout out to, the, to them. Jennifer and Lori. Susan Shockey. And Julie Oliver. I really appreciate your donations to my PayPal. And sometimes, you know, when you donate there, you, you know, you don't get recognized. So my first cards that I'm going to read, I will do a group card first. And then I'm going to read cards for those four that sent money to my PayPal. And um, I just had Saul and Paul, Saul and Paul, donate on my live stream. And I'm going to, to send to read a card for them. Now, you don't have to donate to get a card reading. I'm still going to pick people for card readings. I'm not saying you have to donate, but if somebody donates, I'm going to give them a card reading. So I'm going to start with Jennifer, but first I'm going to start with the group card. I got to get ahead of myself here. So um, I miss, I'm missing everything that's being said. It's hard to read the comments. I need a big screen TV behind me with the with this thing up on it. I used to do that at my old house when I had my the, the extra bedroom. I used to hook my computer to the big screen TV so while I was sitting here talking, I could see everything up there. I need to figure out how to do that, hook, hook all that up again. I just don't really have room for it. Oh, let me go share this. Let me share this video because normally I have more people. Maybe somebody else is live. Um, how come I don't see the share button? There it is. They, they move things around on here, I think. Let me share this, and we'll see if it makes a difference in the um, viewers. Because I have 81. It's showing on my end. It's showing 81. And I got to make the um, hi, Kevin. Thank you for being here. You hear the cats?
Okay, so I'm going to do a group card for everyone. And I'm writing down, like I wrote down the names from the PayPal and the names from the donations. Hi, Bonnie. Thank you for being here. Lisa Hazard. Jan Rogers. Hello there. Hi, Jamie. I was going to do Google Hangouts. I want to do it with Terry and Jess, but Terry never got back to me. And Jess, um, she wasn't feeling up to, you know, I didn't, I didn't give her enough time, enough advance notice. I gave her like 30 minutes and said, do you want to go live? She's like, no, I'm not ready. So hopefully next week I'll give her more notice. This is your notice, Jess. We'll do it next week. <laughs> okay. I do have, um, hmm. I do have my pendulum here. And I also had my dowsing rods, but I, maybe I left them out on the other table. All right, so the first card is a group card for everybody. And it says, let go. Let go, yep. My table's like wobbly. My head's getting cut off. Okay, so the group card for every one of us is let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you will be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have, as we have only your best intentions at heart and we'll do everything in our power to protect you. So let go. That card was for all of us. I think I'm, I keep cutting my head off. Can I fix this without... Is that better? I gotta have a drink. So I hope you guys had a great weekend. I'm losing my comments here. I don't know what happened. Oh, Danny, I haven't been to the post office. I'm gonna go tomorrow or Monday tomorrow. I'm drinking Gatorade tonight, guys. It's better than soda for me. I drink a lot of soda. Okay, so the first card I'm gonna read is going to be for the Jennifer Lopez Chavez. Um, she had sent money to my PayPal and I just wanted to, you know, give her a card reading. So Jennifer's card is Inspire Passion. Jennifer, are you in here? Inspire passion. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is a time to reignite your passion and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which in will which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. So inspire passion. That was for Jennifer Lopez. Chavez. Oh, is it M's daughter's birthday? Happy birthday to your daughter, M. I didn't even see M. Shout out to M. Thank you for being in here. Appreciate that. Okay, so the next card is for Lori Ramison. I think it's Ramison. It's or Rasson. It's R A S M U S S O N. And you got give back. I'll let you know, Danny. Um, I'll check the post office tomorrow. Lori got give back. Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It's about giving back without any thoughts or expectations of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits. It's highly likely that someone really needs it today. So that was for Lori. And even if they're not in here, I still want to read them a card. I'm sure they'll watch it. I still want to read them a card. Um, you know, just because they donated to my PayPal. 
The next one is Susan Shockey. And I think I've seen her in here. Susan, you're in here, right? I think I already seen her in here. Susan's card is you are not alone. Okay, so you are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. Wow, that was for Susan Shockey. Oh, I'm not frozen up here, Jennifer. It's not frozen up here. Am I frozen? Uh, I better not be frozen. Yeah, I might be frozen. On my computer, I am. Can you guys still hear me? What the hell's wrong with this thing? Oh, some people, hi, crazy mama. Some people saying not frozen. Some people saying frozen. Oh, well, it's still frozen on my computer. I don't know why. Okay, so the next card, oh, is for Julie Oliver. Julie's probably in here. My computer's still frozen. That's weird. I don't know what's going on tonight. Did it really freeze? Because I lost I lost a lot of... Is somebody else live, Jess? Because I just went from like 82, 82 viewers to 44. Everybody knows this Sunday night is my live night. I don't know why. Why I, 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 I have, I'm respectful and I don't go live when, when I know it's somebody's night. Um... Nope, you are not frozen. Oh, maybe people refreshed. I don't. Oh, maybe because it really dropped quick. Is Angie still in here? Thank you, James, for posting all my links. Kevin, too. And all of you guys that, that post the links, I really appreciate it. Thanks, Jamie and M. Wow, we got them links going. Well, it went back up now. It's to 51. But I had close to it. I know it was over 80. Maybe everybody did refresh. Or maybe my thing is just not right. Because mine's still... Let me refresh. I'm going to lose it all, guys. Okay, now I refreshed and mine's not, mine's, mine's working now. Yeah, it says 55 people's watching. I don't know, um, hmm. Usually that only happens if, um, somebody else goes live. Now my, now my chat is so small that I can't even see it. Darn it. Where did it go? Well, I won't leave. Well, thank you, Denise. I appreciate that. Okay, so the next card. Did I read Julie Oliver's card, guys? I did, right? Yes, I think I did. Let me see. I flipped the cards over in here so I'll be able to tell. Yes, I did. The next card is Saul still here? I'm having an issue with the comments. I mean, I'm only seeing a couple comments like at a time. A second ago, I was seeing a bunch of them. 
I don't want to hide the chat. I want to hide everything else underneath of it. All right, well, that's okay, I guess. Thank you, Bonnie. Hi, Irish Whiskey. Hi, Esmeralda. I want to read a card for Saul, and I want to make sure Saul's here, and, and also for Paul. You're blaming it on the Wi-Fi. Okay, well, I'm seeing like two messages at a time. Paul is still here. How about Saul? Somebody tell me how to make this chat bigger. I had it big a few minutes ago on the last one. I don't know what I did. Pop out chat, what does that mean? Oh, I just lost the whole page, holy cow. What's a pop out chat? Oh, wow, I can see now. Oh, I like the pop out chat, wow. Okay, now I got the whole screen. Learn something new today. Okay, Michelle, I sure will. Michelle needs prayers, guys. If you guys could pray for her. All right, well, here's Saul's card. I want to read for him. And it's a mother's love. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. A mother's love. That card was for Saul. Yeah, I go live every Sunday night, and most of my circle of, of YouTubers know that. Um, I didn't know if maybe somebody else went live, and um, because I don't understand how it could go from like 88 people to drop down to 40 people at one time. Didn't make sense. Hmm, where did my thing go? There it is. Okay, but I'm not going to worry about it. And I appreciate you guys being here. This card is for Paul Fam. Paul Fam. Paul got hello from heaven. It says your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you. As much as you want to connect with them, they know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you, to prove they're with you at this time. Hello from heaven, Paul. That's an awesome card. A very awesome card. Okay, so if you have not had a card reading from me, let me know in the comments. I might not get to all of you, but I'll get to some of you. You're welcome, Paul. Okay, Erica's going to get the first one. Okay, Erica, here's your card. You got receive. 
Erica's card is receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is a natural law and order of the universe. So learn how to receive. If you, you know, you give so much, learn how to receive when somebody tries to help you. That card was for, I don't remember. That's awful. Erica, that was for Erica. Okay, so I'm gonna pick another person. Oh, awesome, Eric. I'm glad. Okay, Denise. I'm going to read a card for Denise. Just let me know if you haven't had a card reading, but when I'm reading a card and looking up, I'm not going to see the comments, so I'm going to miss it. So you might want to wait till I'm looking up before you hit send. Okay, Denise's card is seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. So seek, Denise. That was for Denise. All right, Debbie. Debbie love, loves life. Debbie loves life. Debbie's card is ground yourself. Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you are ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect to the divine source. That was a good card. This is, I always say this card's for me because I'm like always just, everything's just going on. I get, yeah. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll just move on past that. Past that little moment. I gotta have another drink. Sorry, guys. Okay, so who has not had a card? Deborah Wheeler. All right, Deborah, this is your card. You got forgiveness. Deborah's card is forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and transform. Forgiveness. That was for Deborah Wheeler. All right, Irish whiskey. This one's for you. Irish whiskey got love. Love is the foundation of your existence. And you're just as worthy as receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be beautiful, a beautiful emotion, it's, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. Love. You're welcome, Denise. I'm glad you liked it. Dorothy Lynn Thomas. This card's going to be for you.
Dorothy got reach out. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much as about the physical act of accepting help we're offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it is truly okay to accept support however it is presented to you. Reach out. I hope that um, was a good card for you and I hope that made sense to you. Oh, that's awesome, Dorothy. Is it Yovan? Yovan Grub? You're next. Thank you, Drew's Paranormal. Thank you for the donation. This card is for Yovan. Yovan got cleansed. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take time out for some much-needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It is time for some spiritual and emotional and physical cleansing. So cleanse. We probably all need that. I probably need that. All right, this next card's for Drew's Paranormal. Thank you for the donation. You're welcome, Yvonne. Okay, Drew's, this is your card. It says, just ask. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. So just ask, Drews, and thank you for the donation again. All right, Bonnie, this card's for you. Thank you, Linda. All right, this card's for Bonnie. Bonnie got Animal Kingdom. Animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They've been our spiritual compassion since the dawn of time. At this time, they have lessons to share with you that will open your heart and soul. Wow. Now, uh, was it was Bonnie, right? Bonnie said she lost her mother a week ago. Bonnie, do you have animals? These animals are going to help you heal. And if you don't, maybe you should get one. Um, it's got to, you know, animals are, they help you. They, you know, I love my animals. They're just there for you when you need them. I mean, maybe if you, you know, maybe you can get a cat. Cats can take care of themselves and, um, get a lap cat. That, they're just, they're so lovable. Animals are really good for, um, for the soul. I mean, I love these animals. I love to sit down and, and throw treats and watch them chase after each other trying to fight for the treat and um, I have a lot of fun with the animals I really do I hope that card was good for you <coughs> oh 
Okay. I'm getting a hot flash. Holy crap. I don't know how to send a heart. You're welcome, Bonnie. Hi, Raymond. Hi, Libby. Okay, so who has not had a reading from me? Not just tonight, like never had a reading. Hi, April. Okay, Kelly. All right, Tracy, you're next. This card's for you. I seen you earlier, and, and I couldn't remember what, the, what your name, I couldn't remember what it was. All right, Tracy, so you got a father's love. Tracy got a father's love. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable. I never can say that right. And that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason whether your father is still here or past a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience tracy got a father's love You're welcome, Tracy. Oh, get off that. Sorry, guys. Come on, Bella. Bella's over there scratching at the couch. Okay, this card is for Kim Lee. Kim Lee Carroll. I'm going to go... Knock me a cat out here in a minute. He's like clawing the bottom of the couch. He's never really done that before. Okay, so Kim, this is your card. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful... Sorry, guys. Bella's like down there just grabbing everything. Okay. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in? Ow, you little... Oh, she just clawed the crap out of me. She's, she's going after this bag. I got to move the bag. Oh, she got me. Am I bleeding? See any blood? She got me good. Okay, so find your center. I don't even remember who it was for. That's terrible, but I'm sure she knows who, she, who it was for. Dang, Bella. I had to get her claws trimmed. I love Bella. She's so playful. She's like attacking Yuna. Do you guys want to see? Let me see if I can move you. Where's she at? Wait till she comes around the corner. Bella. Oh no, she's she's taking off. Shoot, she's taking it off. She just like jumped right on Nuna's head. Oh, they're over this way now. Oh, God, she really got me. Bella is so playful. She really is. Today, I had Yuna, Bella, and Louie laying in the front window. It was crazy. They just laying up in there all together. Now, um, the other cat's kind of a... It's not as big a scary cat as Yuna, because Yuna, if you come near her, she's gone. Um, it's not as bad as Yuna. It's um, Apollo. Apollo's kind of a scary cat, too, but not, not real bad. You can, you can pick Apollo up. 
But yeah, they're just gonna they're gonna decide to run around and play while I'm live. Usually it's Louie standing beside me barking. Louie must have had a bellyache or something because he was acting really weird tonight. He, he went to bed with Daddy. He was acting really weird. Louie bites butts. Louie bit Melissa's butt the other night when she was at my house. I mean, he didn't really bite her hard. He just kind of like, she got up and turned around and bent over and, and Louie just went, snap. So he got Melissa's butt. <laughs> it's like, what the heck, Louie? Yeah, he likes to bite butts. That's crazy. Okay, so who has not had a card? I'm going to read two more cards. And I'm going to go on to the pendulum. Sarah M. This card's for you. Okay, Sarah's card is listen. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a true compassionate listener. Listen to listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not just to what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. So be a good listener. Be a really good listener. Good night, John. Biggest shout out to John. Night, buddy. Sleep tight. You should have told me he was there with you. You probably did. I just didn't see the comment. I'm sorry. Does John want a card before he goes to bed? He can be my last card. He said yes. Okay, John, I'm going to get you a card. And then he can go to bed. All right, here it is. New beginnings. John got new beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continually, continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. Whoa, I wonder what that means. Mom, you're going to have to let me know what that means. That card was for John. Good night, John. Okay, so I want to, do you guys want to do the pendulum or the dowsing rods? <coughs> Let's see if we can do a poll here. Which one we want to do? We want to do a couple of each. Oh, it's both. All right, let me grab the other ones. Let me grab the... I had them with me. I don't know what I did with them. Okay, so I got the dowsing rods and I got my pendulum. I thought I lost it. I was like blaming everybody. What did you guys do with it? I thought it was in my purse and it was in my purse. But I was just like going around the house like a crazy woman. Like, where's my pendulum? Oh my God, somebody took it. It's here. Okay, so never saw a pendulum in action. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do the yes and no questions. Um, and on the pendulum, the well, so we could ask it what the yes answer would be. But it was the yes answer was forward and back and the no answer was sideways. The unsure was circled. But we can ask it. See, I don't know where to put my hand. Oh no. I need something to prop my arm upon. 
Let me get something. How about this box? Okay. So, I got something to prop my arm up on. This table is so is wobbly, but I got it on the down slope, so I'll just hold the dang table down. Center, please. Tell me what your yes answer is. Okay, guys, so the yes answer is forward and back, forward and back. Um, I need to, I really need to put something under this leg of this table. Um, I don't know what, though. I need a piece of cardboard or something. Because the leg keeps moving. Let me see what I got in here. Here, let me see if I can put this up under the table. Watch me drop the whole table. Is that helping? It's still wobbly. Dang it. I can't pick the table up. So that ain't gonna work. Okay. I'll just push the table down. I wonder if I can move it. It won't be as bad like that. I don't want to be jiggly. I hate being jiggly. All right, so we're going to do the pendulum first. We got our yes and no answer. So let me pick somebody that has a yes and no answer question. Kelly Gray wants to know if she's going to have more grandbabies. Louie's going to bark. He's in the bedroom. Dang it. Center, please. Yeah. Kelly wants to know if she's going to have more grandbabies. Well, it went into a no, and then it went into an I don't know. And I think it's an I don't know. I have to let Louie out, guys, or he's going to wake up Tyler. Come on. What are you barking for? I thought you were going like that with Daddy. You better not start barking. Okay, I'm so sorry. Oh, shoot. Knocked the whole thing over. All right, I got to push the table back down. Oh, yeah, Louie knows I'm using the pendulum. He probably does. Roger sent me another one. Really? Thank you, Roger. I haven't been to the post office. I'm going to go tomorrow. I have to um, look at a couple places over there for a friend. Donna, you were the one that sent me that picture. That is amazing because you guys know the little girl that lived in my, my last place that I lived. Um, and I didn't feel her here when I first moved here. But then when I finally got all my stuff out of there and cleaned it all up and everything, we, I come home and I felt her here. I don't feel her very much in the house. I feel her more in the backyard. And somebody pointed out that... You guys got to look at the picture on my Facebook. Um, um, who was it? Donna? I think it was Donna that posted a picture of the little girl in my backyard. It's crazy. It's really crazy. So, um, yes, check out that picture. So, the little girl, I know she's still here. I just don't feel her much inside the house. Um, it's really crazy. Okay. So, the next, just post your questions. Lizzie asked if you like balloons. I love balloons. Yes, Lizzie, I love balloons. Thank you. Um, did you got, did, Katie, did you see the video that got posted today? That's the place I want to put Lizzie's flowers. I want to do the flower project with Lizzie's flowers there. You know, um, 
that little girl, I mean, I don't know, could that spirit, could it, could it be a spirit of a little girl? Could it be my mother? I planted all them flowers that my mother had in our yard when we were kids. Um, and I did that because it just reminded me of my mother. But I, there's several spirits out there. If you guys look in pictures that I take out there, you'll see several spirits. It's crazy. Okay, so center, please. Wendy Lopez wants to know, will my heart procedure turn out okay? It looks like it's going in a circle, Wendy. Like I said, I don't know. Center, please. Let me ask it again. Center. Will Wendy's heart procedure turn out okay? It's saying yes. It kind of looked like it was going to say yes before and it went into a circle, but I'm trying to keep like I'm trying to keep my arm as still as I can. Yes, Donna, I seen a lot in that picture too. Thank you for sending it to me. I really appreciate that. Irish whiskey, that's a good question. Maybe the man spirit in my house and the shadow people are forcing her outside. Because I have felt her like when when I finally got everything moved in to this house, I did feel her in the house. And I hardly ever feel her in the house. I feel her in the backyard. I feel a lot in the backyard. But I don't feel like anything's bad. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe that man's forcing her out. Um, oh my God. They're talking about that man. Um, well, I, I got a video coming out in my house where some things happened. I'll just leave it at that because um, they're already in a video. I'll just be repeating myself if I do that. Okay, next question. Center, please. Lily B wants to know, are the, are the spirits in my house, not my house, I guess her house, kind, are the spirits in her house good? good? It's saying no. Center, please. Are the spirits in her house bad? Holy crap. It went straight to a yes. Well, now it went to no. I could be jiggling. Center. doesn't want to stop are the spirits in Lily's house bad Lily it's saying yes get some sage and bless your house okay center please center not want to stop it's hard to hold just this little this little thing at the top center Mary wants to know does she have a gift Kind of like an I don't know, Mary. Ooh, 
Lori wants to know if her grandparents are still around her. Center, please. Center. Is Lori's grandparents still around her? It looks like a yes, Lori. Center, please. Denise wants to know if she has spirits in her home. Wow. That went straight to a no, Denise. Center, please. Tracy, what was that question? I'm only catching the end of that story. Bonnie wants to know if her mom's in heaven. Is Bonnie's mom in heaven? Then and I don't know, Bonnie. There it goes. I could have moved though. Center, please. What do you want me to ask? And how long has he been missing, Tracy? Is Tracy's son alive? Doesn't know. Hmm. Center, please. Center. Did someone kidnap Tracy's son? Is that what happened, Tracy? Or do you just not know? Oh. My head's hurting. Uh, I, I'm done with the pendulum, guys. Mm, I, got, I got pains in the side of my head. I don't even know where to go with this box. Tracy, message me later, please. On Messenger. Okay, um, wow. We can do the dowsing rods, guys. I can answer some yes and no questions on the dowsing rods if you guys want to. Tracy, don't forget to message me.
How old was your son, Tracy? We'll get a yes and no answer on the Dalsy Mods. Now, I know I got to put my hands right up against my side. I'm not a professional with these guys. Can you tell me what your yes answer is? Okay, that's normally what the yes answer is. It crosses over. So, um... I'm going to pick, um, just put your questions out there and I will, um, I will answer, um, I will try to do the yes and no. Make sure it's a yes and no question. Okay, let me pick someone. Someone said you have to hold it, Joanne. I was wondering if I could hang it from something and just put my my fingers on it. Um, I'm not sure. Somebody said you're supposed to hold it. It's got to have your, um, I guess your um, emotions. M, how is that? How is that with the pendulum? You can't hang it from something, right? Don't you have to hold it? Thank you, Roger. As long as you are touching the pendulum. Okay, Sarah M. wants to know, was my brother Michael murdered? Okay. Sinner. Was Sarah's brother Michael murdered? It said yes, Sarah. Now, I'm no professional at these things. I, I'm just learning to use them. So, um, but I'm trying to stay as still as I can. Um, okay, M says it needs your energy. You have to hold it with the pendulum. Okay, thank you, M. Okay, um, I'm trying to look for another question. Okay, so Dorothy wants to know, was the dad I grew up knowing my real dad? Oh, I just got cold chills. Shoot. Okay, so was Dorothy's dad, she grew up knowing her real dad? It said no. Silver Shadows really wants to know if I'm going to get this place soon and is it haunted? Are you moving? Is that what it is? All right, center, please. Center. Is Silver Shadows going to get this this place, and is it haunt? Well, is Silver Shadows going to get this place? It's an I don't know. It was an I don't know. Thank you for being here, Catherine. I appreciate that. Tracy, I really want to talk to you tonight. I hope you're not going to bed anytime soon.
Oh, wow. I'm sorry, Sarah. Lori wants to know if her house is haunted. Okay. Center, please. Center. Center. Is Lori's house haunted? Said yes, Lori. Thank you, Renee. Roberta wants to know if her COP is getting worse. Center, please. Is Roberta's COPD getting worse? It said yes. If you smoke, stop smoking. I'm the wrong one to be telling somebody to stop smoking because I have COPD too. Oh. Okay. I'm only going to do one more. I, I'm really having, I really just kind of need to be done. I'll read a group card and, and I need to get off here. All right, one more. Oh, she's never smoked. Um, well, do whatever your doctor's telling you to do. And stay away from smoke, baby. I don't know. Jennifer, that's not a good question. Carol and Tear wants to know, is my older brother the spirit in my mom's house? Okay. Center. Center. Is Carolyn's older brother the spirit in her mother's house? That is a yes. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to do a group card, but... Um, I got a really emotional feeling earlier, and um, I just feel like I need to talk to Tracy. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna do a group card, and then I'm gonna get off here, guys. Hot. I hope you guys enjoyed this night. Thank you to all the mods for being here and for posting my links. I, I really do appreciate that. Thank you to all the new people. And I, you know, I try to read people that I haven't read. I want to be fair. I don't want to try to read the same people. But like when someone throws a donation out there, I'm not going to pass them by and not read them. I'm going to read them. Um, but this is going to be a group card. And then I'm going to, I'm going to close out for tonight. And I have videos coming out every day this week. So... Get your notifications on. Um, if you catch up on my videos, try to go back and watch some of the older ones if you can. Every, every view helps, and I do appreciate that. And I am, it looks like I'm definitely going to hit 10,000 subscribers before my birthday. Um, my birthday is on the 20th, and I'm getting really close. I think I'm at 97.55. Um, so I'm definitely probably going to hit it before my birthday. Okay, so this is going to be a group card for everyone. A good night group card. All right, here it goes. 
We got caregivers. Probably all caregivers. Some of us have children. Some of us have husbands. Some of us have boyfriends. Some of us have, we all have somebody to take care of, right? It says, we are with you and the spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives. Just as you receive care and love at the start of your life, caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-beings in the process. Caregivers. That was for each and every one of us. I hope you guys enjoyed this night. And I will see you guys again next Sunday. I'll do a couple shout-outs. Um, Shout-out to Michael, M, Lily, Denise, Libby, Jamie, Renee, Kevin, James, Sharp, Bonnie, Lisa, Silver Shadows, Katie, Carol, Rebecca, Sarah, Maddie, Paul the Fam, Kevin Kirby, Meemaw, Carolyn, Yvonne. Bye, guys.